Good morning. Good morning, Macy. So Macy and I are going to share Yad practice with you this morning. Um, Yad is the combination of HIT with Journey into Power, really. And this morning's practice is a is a five rounds. And the five rounds are going to be a nice challenge at 5.30 a.m. with Macy in the dark outside. At least she'll warm up pretty quick. Um, just to kind of go over the, the integration. So our focus is going to be keeping the pelvis neutral. And you'll see that the integration is really some back bends. It's going to be dancer, floor, bow, and wheel, really focusing on grounding through the feet. Even when your feet are in the air, like grounding through the feet, pulling the front of the pelvis up, and that will keep the pelvis neutral. As we go through our five rounds, we have burpees, which you know what those are. We have side lunges, and the side lunges is just stepping to the side, and we'll do five on each side, so it's not alternating. And those will get deeper and bigger and the whole focus from foot, from the inner arch up into the pelvis lifting. We have air squats and air squats will turn your feet out. And it's a deep enough squat that you can get into the hips and the pelvis and again, lifting from the front. Skaters, um, the skater, you'll step with one foot, cross behind and reach with your opposite arm. And we're looking for the reach as well as the big step. And then block taps, and there's 50 of these which sounds like a lot, but it's really not terrible. I'll, I'm gonna demonstrate them just on my hands, but basically the, oh no, block taps. I got that all wrong, I'm sorry. Block taps are standing. Now I'm confused. All right, block taps. So it's called a block tap because they, we practice them with the block in front of us and it's really just stepping, right? I generally will kick, kick my block. And so I tend to move it and just move my feet, right? And so that's what that is. Sorry, my brain got confused. And then the last one is calf raises. My calf raises just up to the ball mounds of your feet. Some people practice these with different variations of turning out and turning in. And I actually really just try to focus on getting the whole calf and staying in neutral. If you prefer to go out and in, you can do that too. And that is our, those are our rounds. We will start with yoga and I'll probably do a little bit more yoga up front to prepare us for the back bends because doing a 30 second wheel in a cold body sounds dangerous to me. So we will likely do a little bit more yoga up front and a little bit more just hip opening at the end. Here we go. So we'll start in child's pose. I would make sure you have water available and a sweat towel. And in child's pose, as it being integration, deep Ujjayi breaths. Pull yourself up on an inhale. And exhale. Spend a couple breaths, really setting your dog, setting your drishti, expanding breath. Depending on where you are in space, you'll either walk your hands back halfway or step your feet up halfway so that you're coming to a pretty flat back, but your arms are out in front of you and breathe. And those of you who've been in my class know I love this in integration, but you're going to lift your right leg up and then you're going to spin open and half moon, really rooting through the fingertips of your left hand, not too concerned with how perfect it looks, just creating some opening some integration into the pelvis from your feet. Breathe in and then fold. And you're kind of doing that fold where your back is still flat. So not really folding into a forward fold, but more of that half lift action. And then you're just gonna switch legs. So you'll lift up your left leg and you lift it back straight and then spin open, right? Fingertips pressing down, lifting, opening, spreading. Breathing, Ujjayi. 
grounding in the limbs on the floor, drawing into the center of the pelvis, breathe in. Now ragdoll, both feet down a little wider and fold over, deep in breathing. Hmm. And then drop your hands, heel toe your feet into the actionable position. I call it the athletic stance, lift and lengthen. And then step it back to down dog, step your hands forward, whatever it is in your space. Breathe in and breathe out. You're gonna step to the top of the mat, lengthen your spine, fold, all the way up extended mountain, reach. Fold forward, breathe out. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Go to low push up, breathe out. Focusing on pressing into the earth, lift to up dog, lift the front of the pelvis, shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Breath in. Breath out, step forward. Lengthen your spine. Fold. All the way up, extended mountain. Fold forward, breathe out. Lengthen. Chaturanga, low push-up, up dog, into down dog, exhale, breathe in, and breathe out, you can step or jump, lengthen, fold, all the way up, maybe back, just an early opening, and then fold forward, lift, Chaturanga, up, into down dog and breathe. And one more, empty, step your feet to the top, lengthen, fold, chair, Fold, lift, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, warrior one right foot, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, left side, warrior one. Staying in breath, drishti forward, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog, breathe in, and out, step, jump, link, a little deeper, a little more spread in your fingers and arms, then fold, lengthen, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, warrior one, right? Rooting through both feet, you can create a back bend, and then chaturanga, up dog, down dog, left side, Chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog, exhale, breathe in, and breathe out, step or jump, lift and lengthen, and fold, deep chair, fold forward, halfway lift, Chaturanga, exhale deeply, fill, empty, warrior one, right leg forward, couple breaths in this warrior, butterfly your fingers, left thumb over, right, root into both feet, especially your left foot, breathe and deepen in the lunge, from your right foot, start to pull the right hip and pelvis back, 
Breathe out. Lift the front of the pelvis up, breathe in. Go back, ha. One more inhale. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Now you'll take your right thumb over to the left and breathe. Set the pose. Really press into your right heel. Notice that when you do that, sometimes the hip will open and then from the heel you turn forward. Go into the right foot a little deeper. From the right heel, pull the left hip back and work with this balance. Pull the front of the pelvis up. Shoulders on your back. <sighs> Go up and back. Inhale. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right leg up. Bend, stack, open. A breath. Empty. Soften your standing knee, ball mounted the foot, flip your dog. Go over, reach up, and then forward. Nice back bend, Macy. Big breath in. Breathe out. Reach up. Go around to downward facing dog. Side plank, right arm down. Just breathe in, reach up and empty. Left leg up, behind you, wild thing. One more breath. Take it around, chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. You'll go left side, left leg up. Bend and stack and open. Couple breaths. And then ball mound of your right foot, soften the knee, flip the dog. Adjust your feet, adjust your hands, open the pose. One more breath to reach out. Empty. Inhale, hand up. Exhale, back around, down dog. Left hand down, side plank. Yeah, you set this. Draw the front of the pelvis up, shoulder over shoulder. Breathe in and out. Right leg up, behind you, wild thing. Gentle opening. Breathe in. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, crescent lunge, right foot forward. Rise, twisting crescent lunge. Stay on the floor with Bus, feet, pelvis. Both shoulders on your back. One more breath in, one more out, warrior two, extended side angle, breathe in and out, take your pinky down, reach over your ear, breathe in, empty, back up, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, <sighs> left foot forward, crescent lunge. Twisting crescent lunge, about three breaths. Root into your feet, press your palms together. Breath in, lengthen, breath out, twist. Stay low, it's warrior two. Extended side angle. I use a block on the outside of my foot. You don't have to, you can go forearm to thigh or hand down. Breathe in and reach over your head. Back up. Chaturanga. 
up dog. Downward facing dog. Ah. Breathe in and breathe out. Step your feet to your hands, lengthen your spine and fold. Chair pose, twisting chair. Breathe in and out twist. Breathe in chair, twist left. One more breath, empty it out, come to chair, fold forward. You'll take big toe pose, grab your big toes, pull in. And then step on your hands, gorilla pose. Head drops, breath full. You bring your feet together, walk your hands out a slightly and come into crow. We're not gonna jump out of it, so come into a stable crow. Couple breaths to set it up. And then once you're in, you wanna breathe for three, two, One more, and then feet down, feet wide, squat for a breath. How was your early morning crow, Mace? Good, good, good. One more breath here in the squat. And then really gently, you're gonna heel toe your feet back in as you lift your seat up. Lengthen your spine and fold. Go all the way up to extended mountain. Go into eagle. Extended mountain. Eagle. Extended mountain. Tree. Right leg down, left leg up tree. Nice, foot down, reach up, fold forward, lengthen your spine, chaturanga, up dog. Downward facing dog, right foot forward, warrior one, warrior two, trying. Just a couple breaths in here and grounding. One more. And then you're gonna bend your front leg, come back to warrior two, come into the pyramid with your left foot jogging in and out, squaring the pelvis. Find your hands, breathe in, breathe out, fold down. Good, breath, empty. <sighs> Take your left hand out and then down to a block. Open and twisting triangle. One breath in, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. <sighs> Left foot, warrior one. Warrior two. Into triangle. And we're just going through the grounding a little bit. I really believe this grounding sets your hips and legs up for back bends. One more breath. Empty it out. <clears throat> Bend your front leg. You're gonna set up for pyramid. Your hands can bind behind you. You can use a strap or a towel too. So if you're tight in the shoulders or wrists, you can use a towel. And then fold forward. 
couple breaths. And you come up, reach your right arm long, then take it to a block and open up in twisting triangle. Just a breath, breathe in and out. Inhale to reach and then exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. And we're ready for integration. Grab a drink of water. Make sure you have what you need. We will start with a dancer pose. And so a 30 second dancer is probably, I'll just count it, but we'll do half on right and then half on left. Um, and we'll see how we feel. And if we feel nice and open, we may do then a 30 second right and a 30 second left makes sense of three rounds. So we'll see how we feel. Um, so we'll start with dancer pose. I'm gonna use a strap, especially for a decent hold. You don't have to, you can just take your right hand out, reach up and go. And switch. And go. Shoulders back. Full expression. And foot down. So it's a 30 second floor bow set up. So since it's a long one, I'm gonna say you can go from locust to bow. We'll do that on the first one. Breathe in, lift up. You're gonna reach your arms back. We're about a third of the way there. Grab the ankles, lift into bow. and come out. The last part of integration is wheel. And we'll go bridge to wheel, at least on the first one. We're gonna include all of that in the counting of it. So root down and go up into bridge. Really pressing through your feet, lifting from the throughout the pelvis, walk your shoulders under. Now add your arms and go into wheel. Got about 15 seconds. Take your chin and come down. Roll up. Second set. Long. Uh, long one or 15 each side? Choice one, one long or two short? One on each side? Okay, so we'll do 15, we'll do a uh, 15 second on each side. Is that what she said? Yeah? <laughs> Are you, you wanna do one long one? We'll go one long, okay. Right leg for 30. Last 10. And out. Floor bow. Lift up. Integrate. 20 more seconds. Lift and out. Wheel. 
Get into your feet, start in bridge. You can stay in bridge or add your arms. Last 10. And down. I'm gonna roll it up. This would be a long left sided dancer. So catch your left foot. Move it into your right. And lift. Let it evolve. Five, four, stay, three, two, and release. Well done. Floor bow. I like to build it from locust. It allows me to pull my pelvis up. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Flip it over for the wheel. And again, you can choose just the bridge. So gauge yourself. Root down. I'm probably going to spend half and half this time. The trick is to really root into the feet, lift from the front of the pelvis. Last 10. Five, four, three. Two and down. Good. Oof. <sighs> Come on up. Drink the water. We're going to start with the burpee. It's going to be exciting. I don't know about you, but Mason, I just love the burpee. We think it's the best thing ever. I'm going to start some music. And um, we may not be on the same round, or we may. Got the music, Mace? We're good? Okay, all right. Whoa. So does it help that I'm already feeling our integration? <laughs> okay, we're going to start with the burpee. Reach up, fold forward, and go. One. After this, we go to side lunges. Five on each side. And switch. You can do whatever you want with your hands. I keep mine at my heart just to try to integrate in the center. After this, it's air squats. Ten. Followed by skaters. 10. Nine. 
and then block taps. This is where you're standing at 50. Thirty. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Followed by calf raises. Twenty. Lifting. Keeping your breath here. It's kind of a rest. Cardiovascularly. Back to the top, it's burpees. Six. You can do a full push up there if you want. You can jump at the top if you want. You'll find I keep them pretty basic. I have one more. Followed by side lunges. Opposite leg. And squats. And Ten of these. Followed by skaters. Nice big step, big reach. Lock taps, 50. I don't know about you, but I always feel like I'm a clogger. Can I do these? Three, two, and one. Calf raises. This is where you get your breath, maybe a drink. All right, left. 17, 18, 19, 20. Yay, third round, burpees. My favorite. Four, five, and six. Side lunges. One, three, four, five. Switch sides. One. Three, four. Five air squats in the center, feet turned out. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Skaters, get that reach. Ten, block taps. Really bend your knees a little bit, so reach out with your feet. Okay, 10. Four, three, two, one. Calf raises. Twenty. Round four. Burpees. Followed by side lunges. Bit 
switch sides. Keep lifting front and front of the pelvis. Bring to both feet. Air squats. You can take these into a jump at the top. I hate that. <laughs> Followed by skaters and reach, reach. Nine, ten, block caps. No, yes, block caps. Okay, two, three, three, two. Fifty. Calf raises. Catch your breath and go. Really take this opportunity. You can set drifty. Slow your breath. Two, one, burpees, six, last set. Finishing strong, last burpee, followed by side lunges. Two, get in there, three, fill the glutes, four, and five, other side. Four, and five. Air squats, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, skaters. And reach. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Block tap fifty. Last set of calf raises, stay in. 19, 18, 16, 15, so you got 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, stay up 2, 1, and down, breath, hold off. Good job, Mace. Oh. Oh. And then, once you've had a chance to walk it off, come to the top of the mat. Oh. Ooh. Let's just stand in Tadasana, Samas Tahiti, hands on your side. Five deep breaths. Feel your feet on the earth. Eyes closed or drishti fixed. Last big breath. Let it out. Sweep your arms up. Reach. Catch your right arm. Pull and then lean to the left. Three, twisty fixed. Two, root in your right foot. Last breath, and then come up. Reach again, touch your left arm, pull, and then reach over. Gaze fixed. Root into both feet. Last inhale. Last exhale, reach up. 
Gently bend your knees, fold down. Do an active forward fold. So line your feet up, look at them, turn them at 12 o'clock, lift halfway, pull your shoulders up, tailbone back, breathe it. And then pull, press the floor down and away, pull yourself into a strong forward fold, press down and out with your feet. Take two breaths here. Out. In. And out. Step your right foot back, I mean, sorry, Keep your right foot where it is. Step your left foot back, the back of the mat, long lunge. So your knee is off the floor to begin with. Keep your knee off the floor. Take your right foot and heel toe it out just a little bit so that you can drop your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Press your shoulder into your knee. Press your knee back into your shoulder. Lengthen your neck. Now, turn your right foot out at about two o'clock. Let your knee open. Stay up on the back leg first. Let the knee open. Now drop your back knee. You can have a block or you can come down to your forearms to get a little deeper into the right and left hip. Kind of peel your body back up. Keep your left hand down. Take your right hand over to your right thigh and just open a little deeper. If you want, you can reach back for your left foot with your right hand and just keep opening. Get a deep quad stretch in the left. Twisting open, open, open. Release it. Step your right foot, I'm sorry, step your left foot up even with the right, get the long spine, and then press into the floor, active forward fold. Press down into your feet and out. Press into the mat, pull yourself in. Three, two, press down and out. Hug your quads up and breathe out. <sighs> Leave your left foot where it is, step your right foot back, long lunge. You're starting way up. Just let this settle in the body, lifting the front of the pelvis. Then you're gonna bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot. You may have to heel toe your foot out a little bit to adjust that. And now you're pressing your knee into your shoulder and your shoulder out into your knee and really pull back on the femur bone so that the pelvis stays neutral, breathe. Keep your head relatively neutral. Now you turn your foot out to 10 o'clock and come to the edge of the foot. Open, stay up first. And then drop your back knee. And that's when you can come down to forearms. I put my forearms on a block. The forearms all the way to the mat. It's a little dramatic for my pelvis. Letting the left hip open, stay integrated in the right leg though. Press down into the right knee and the right foot to draw the right pelvis in. In towards your center. Now you can extend up. You take your left hand first to the left thigh, just kind of roll it out. And if you can, you'll reach back with your left hand, grab onto your right foot. Cool, get that long quad stretch and you can twist open for three, two, and one. Gently bring yourself back to center. This time, step back to downward facing dog. From down dog, we're gonna go half pitch and left leg forward. Just 
six or seven deep breaths in it. Opportunity to calm and open. If this is your jam and you're really getting into your hips and you feel good, stay. Otherwise, you can come around to double pigeon. You'll just wrap your right foot up and over. And five more breaths. Create the foundation and then extend the pose. Three more. So if you're in the half pigeon, bring your back leg around and you're gonna go into Navasana boat pose. Do it supported with your hands on your shins or your back of your legs. Reach up for five. Really reach through your feet, four shoulders back. Two more. Last breath in, last breath out. Half pigeon, right leg forward. and setting up your physical foundation. Work to square the pelvis toward the floor. Use your left foot to squeeze your glute to roll the hip down. Use your right outer thigh to press the right glute back. Four more breaths. Same option, on the side. You can stay or go to double pigeon. Stay in breath. Drift your eyes closed or toward the front of the mat. seated with your legs out in front of you. Get your sits bones firmly planted. Bring your right foot into your left thigh. Reach up and pull forward. Switch sides. Both legs out, big reach, and a big, big hold. Tabletop, you can choose a reverse plank too. Let your head more. drop back, take a big breath in. your body down to the mat. Do fish pose. You're going to take your hands underneath your seat. Pop up on your elbows. Let your head move. Drop back. Two more breaths. Last breath. Chin tucks and come down. It's time for an inversion. I'm going to offer headstand. If um, you really prefer to do shoulder stand, that's cool. You could also choose to do a forearm stand. So you'll wanna set up, give yourself two or three breaths into the pose, and then also 
three to five in the pose. With the big integrated practice, you'll be surprised how easy your inversion is. Gently when you're ready. If you're in the shoulder stand, you'll go to plow. Four of sand, stop and dolphin. And then child's pose. Headstand to child's pose. And then we'll meet on your back. Bring your knees into your chest and go into happy baby. Go half happy baby, take your left foot, reach long on your mat, hold on to your right foot, draw your knee like way out first. And then bring it back to center. And you can keep holding on to your foot or you can bend your knee, you're gonna twist, you can take your right leg over, shift your hips to the right, right leg to the left, reach out of your right arm, breathe. when you come back to center. Square your hips back on the floor. You can start in the happy baby again. And then let your right leg go long and go half happy baby with your left knee pulling down. Just a little more opening, a little different opening. And bring your knee more to center. You can hold on to your foot or you can keep your knee bent. You're gonna shift your hips to the left and twist to the right. So I reach with a long leg. Left arm reaches long, maybe you can look over your left shoulder. One more breath. Let it out. Come back to center. Take your feet to the floor, center the pelvis. Butterfly pose. Let your arms rest where they naturally relax with your eyes closed. Deep breath. Reach your legs long. Shavasana. in and out. Draw your knees to your chest. Gently roll to your side.
With your own hands, press yourself up to seated. Eyes closed. Just a second and seated. Stack your spine. Hands to chest center. Thumbs to your forehead center. Namaste. Woohoo! Thank you, Macy. Have a wonderful day. And thank you all for joining us. We'll see you soon.